Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, we're going to go over how to, uh, well, the tools and settings icon, the wrench tool. So when you go ahead and open up a presentation, the icon up here looks like a wrench. Go ahead and open that. And this is all your tools and how you really adjust um, the whole overall look and feel of the presentation. So the first thing you'll see is transitions and builds. You click that and then you go through and select what you want. This is adding a transition. A transition goes in between each slide. So whether you're when you've got one little section of stuff and then you want to transition, you could do like a page flip or stuff like that. And that's and then an animation is how let's say an image or text appears on that specific slide itself. So I'll hit done. We're going to go into that more details later. Click the tool icon again. Find. Now this is good if you were had, let's say, a, a bunch of different slides on here and you needed to find a specific section. You would type in what you needed and then it would automatically look for it. And then you could hit that little wheel there and then it will replace, uh, match, match the case. So that just means uh, in terms of... Uh, turning it uh, into, let's say it's names and you only had it in lowercase and you need the first le uh, letters to be uh, uppercase, that would do that. You could change whole words. Um, that's pretty much it for the find section. Go ahead and click that again. Pre presenter notes. This is where if you were actually doing a presentation you need to have a little cheat sheet. That's what your presentation notes are. You can click done on that. We'll go into more details about that a little later. You got your presentation tools. Let's go ahead and open that up. So you got your interactive links. That's just like if you have a link to a specific website and stuff like that, you can make sure how it's going to work. Soundtrack, where you can add, actually it'll, it'll populate stuff directly from your iTunes, from whatever you have, whatever music you have on your iPod section of the iPad or iPhone. And then you got your presentation type, how you want it to look and whether you want it looping. So a loop would be great for if you were at like, let's say a convention and you just had your iPad sitting there or even a, presenting on a screen through an Apple TV, you could just have it sit there and loop over and over and over again. Uh, then you got your remote control access, uh, settings. So you can have it for check spelling, slide numbers. You can see if we turn that on, you can see the number two pop up on the bottom middle there. And then you got your guides, and this is the guides are really good for just how uh, it's an easier way to align everything. So with the center guides, you can see is when you move this around, see that yellow line just popped up. That means it's going to be centered probably along. Uh, that's going to be centered along that uh, where it says double tap to edit text. Now that zero shows you that it's right in the middle, and then if you go to the zero, that's dead center. So that a great way to just line up your edges there. Click that again. Go back to settings, and you get comments, and you get your author name, or you could put your name or whoever is working on the presentation. You could set a password. This would just password protect this. So if you send your presentation out to somebody, uh, and you want you have specific things in there that you do, you only want a specific person to see, a password is great for that. Click cancel on that. Go back to your tools icon, the wrench. You can do print, and you can show how you want it to print out. So this one would actually print out four slides on one page. This would be uh, your image or your slide plus any presenter notes. This would be your notes plus all the, the images on with three different slides. You could print the build, which means how you, if let's say you have a bunch of animations on one thing, it will print each page as a specific or each build as a specific page. And then um, you also got the help, the help tool, which I'll go into a little bit more detail later. And so that's pretty much it for your tools. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or email us at info at yourmachelpers.com. Or you can go ahead and send us an email. Uh, wait, send us an email at info Mac helpers or go to yourmachelpers.com slash help. And we'll be able to help you out with any questions you have. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much.